Well, in theory, we're recording. In theory. In theory. We are at the Expo Centre. There's myself and the beautiful Guy. Behind us is the Vasco da Gama Shopping Centre. And we're walking around the Expo. Let's just give you a little pan around. So we're going to do a little walk around, explore this part of Lisbon. Got some fantastic uh, things here. We've got the Ocean Oreo, which is to my right. We've got a, a convention center to my left. We saw uh, Cirque du Soleil there, didn't we? It was very good. And it's fantastic, bit of street art. There's a giant cat, I think it is. A lynx. A lynx. Oh, giant cat. <laughs> so what you're looking at is Gilles. This was the mascot for the Expo of 1998. This whole area was uh, rebuilt from old uh, commercial place. What did you have here? It was uh, Just factories. factories. Do you have an oil refinery down here? No. So this whole area we're going to spin you around. It's been fully developed in the late 90s as Vasco de Gamble. And here is a couple of little restaurants uh, and bars. It's, so but it's cool. right on the water side. Good to see you, Jill. And uh, they also built the the huge Vasco da Gama bridge in the late 90s for the expo, wasn't it? Yeah. It's a really nice part of Lisbon. So spanning around, you can see the Oceanario, the cinema, uh, the Science Museum. We have the cable cars above us. So yeah, you have to be careful of these. Uh, <laughs> the the kashalas, kashaldas. Okay. The the stones on the floor. Calzada. 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 Yes. The calzada. No, that's a the Portugal Pavilion, that's a big um, structure, that's, it's, that's won lots of prizes, that folded thing. Uh, so the roof is suspended yeah, it's the and surface suspended. It, it sags on purpose. It's the largest of its type apparently, won lots of design awards. Very peaceful, considering we're in the middle of a city. It really is something else. So I've just come along a bit. We're now going on to Neptune's walkway. As you can see, it goes across the water. Some of it's a little Wobbly and uneven, but that's part of the fun. And this, as you can see, the cable cars are above us. But from here, you can get a really nice look at the at the town. We just stop and uh, turn around. There's the Vasco with the little hats on the roof of the building. Meant to be boats, baby. Yeah, a boat. We've got the Myriad Hotel, which looks like the Spinnaker Tower in Portsmouth. And if we look across the water, you can see the South Shores. Over there, you've got um, uh, Almada. And 
where you can see the Vasco da Gama bridge disappearing to in the distance is Montijo and to the left of that is Alcachet. We will do a walk around Alcachet because it's really beautiful. It really is nice. They have a really good um, festa there. The Salinas and Campismos? Campi Campinos. Campinos. Which is a cowboy, cowboy fortune. The festival of the salt makers and the cowboys. <laughs> Any excuse for a party, though, is... <laughs> Come on. <laughs> so, this is us. Margarita's a bit more camera shy than I am. But as we're wearing masks and sunglasses, it's kind of hard to see us sometimes. <laughs> We're both vaccinated. We're wearing a mask just to be uh, careful. Because it's advised. And it's advised. And we're sensible people, you know. Even with a vaccine, you can get COVID. What was that? Even with a vaccine, you can get COVID. Oh, OK. It will not be that bad. But you... Ooh, I'm slipping. So it's a nice day, it's a little bit cloudy, but it's still pleasantly warm. It's about, what, high 20s? Yeah, 22, 22. Oh. And uh, yeah, beautiful day, really peaceful. Like I said, this is the city. You've got to love the city for having everything at your doorstep. I do appreciate the countryside. It's very peaceful out when you go further afield. And we'll do more tours. We, we went to Evra once, which is a stunning city, but we went in the middle of an almighty storm. <laughs> and flash flooding. So we, we didn't bother filming anything that day because there was no point. I don't go back. We'll, we'll go back to Evra. So Margarita's just dared me, chicken style, <laughs> to take the cable car. I've never taken it before, but why not? Yeah. And we're just going to go wander over to... Uh, what's over here? It's um, Oceanario. Oh, the Oceanario. And the Knowledge. The Museum of Knowledge. <laughs> and just beyond this uh, cable car, the telecabine, is the marina. We'll take a little walk around there as well, shall we? Just pointing out to you guys, Kilshardus. Kalsada. Kalsada. Say it to the microphone. Kalsada. You say it. You have to learn Portuguese. I have to learn Portuguese, you're right. <laughs> but beautiful pavements. So we're just going to go and check out some more things. It's another bit of art that we're going to come to, made from plastic bottles, you were saying. Look, how long So there's the head. And the body All that one. goes out towards the building. The so Vasco is the little blue boy. That's one of him. 
because there's another one over there which we head to the ocean eye is awesome they've got a, a, a gigantic size aquarium and it has sunfish biggest in Europe as I'm told they have a sunfish which is awesome if you've ever seen one of those it's the craziest looking thing so here's our friend Vasco or his brother Pedro <laughs> Pedro de Gamma and then lovely bit of parkland beautiful really stunning and again hard to know that you're in a city you can't hear anything there's no traffic no cars just people enjoying themselves which is what it should be if you cross under the water yeah I think um, when we came here before they were still doing some gardening and some maintenance here. This is all been from 98, look at the floors are all bent. Yeah. yeah, but they seem to have made this flat again. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to go walk under the water, are we? Uh, I'm sorry for the audio quality, this is going to get loud. Are you impressed I haven't fallen in the water yet? <laughs> so I'm just going to turn around. That's incredible. Big garden with stepping stones. Ooh. little Japanese water garden it's just tucked it away in here as well This is the National Ballet, this building. I'll try and pan up. Look, this one didn't fit. She was broken, but she's alive. How <laughs> cool is that? <laughs> we have a tree that decided to do some interpretive growing. <laughs> it's still going strong by the looks of it. Um, back to one of the waterfall.
I tell you what, the uh, the spray off the fountain is quite refreshing, isn't it? I still don't know if the microphone will pick me up over the noise of the water. Maybe. We'll have to see. If you're going to have a waterfall, you might as well have a big one, eh? <laughs> I think the idea is we're going to head to the Vasco da Gama. We'll show you what's inside. And, uh, Not before we go on the trending. Oh, yeah. First, we're going to go into the cable car. This will be funny because... Um, I'm afraid of <laughs> Margarita's <laughs> terrified of any motion of any vehicle, aeroplanes, cars, anything of this nature, aren't you baby, they're terrified, let's go a little walk through this jardin, ow, <laughs> the you plants look actually <laughs> look spiky and they are actually oh, the lizards, look uh, there's a lizard, there's another thing that Margarita doesn't like. Mm. Yeah, she's not a fan of anything in nature. I am. <laughs> not lizard. Yeah, so a uh, little top tip here, don't walk into the edge of these leaves because they're spiky. Who knew? Garden is hard at it. This flying saucer looking building in front of us is um, an expo centre, uh, um, auditorium or it's an Altis, an Altis arena. It's like like you guys have in Wembley. Uh, I'd say the arena for concerts and things. We saw um, Cirque du Soleil, incredible, the oh. oboe oh, no. show. Let's check out knowledge to do. So, water gardens. What's uh, cache? Cache Portuguese. Cache means um, dock. Dock. Pavilhão do conhecimento. The pavilion or pavilion de conhecimento, Ciencia Viva. You can learn all the elements. If you're having doubts, you can come here. We can see here. The periodic table of elements. As everyone should know, at least a few of these. Uh, it looks like they're fixing the fountain. Yeah, let's go to the. Where are we going to, my love? The cable car. We're doing this. I'm not afraid of anything, so. Film and see who will be afraid. We'll see who's afraid. I'm going to just turn the camera on. 
let's see who's afraid of the cable car, shall we? <laughs> let's. I'm going to film this. I'm already afraid. <laughs> this is going to be hilarious. <laughs> no, it's not. Oh, yes, you're... it is. <laughs> I already know what's coming. <laughs> no, you don't. Because I'm very strong and I'm not afraid. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I am making fun of me. <laughs> so we'll take the cable car, we'll film from there, and we'll go and head up. We need to do some shopping. Um, we need some groceries as well. What else do we need? Oh, oh yeah. Laptop. That's what I need. <laughs> Someone wants a new laptop, her ladyship would like something new. <laughs> and uh, also we need to fix a sink drain. We've just discovered a, a leaky sink. Randomly, but you know, that'll be an easy fix. I need to go to a hardware store. Maybe you guys want to see what uh, lurks within one of those. Pretty much the same as everywhere. So, about the cable car, it was created for the World Exhibition known as Expo 98, has been functioning ever since. Uh, about 8 to 12 minutes, about 1.2 kilometres at 30 metres high, offering a wonderful view over the Park of Nations and an exquisite landscape over the Tej Estri, also called Mar de Palha Straw Sea, and over the Vasco da Gama Bridge with 17.3 kilometers in length. Prices for those of you interested. Adults one way, 450 euros. Round trip, 650 euros. Uh, four to 12 year old children, three, and for a return, 450. And children under three are free. Oh yeah, we're doing this. Cabby number 40. So we can film comfortably seated. Notice I'm going backwards here, so. Because you want to ask My sunglasses are steaming up with this mask. <laughs> so we get to also look at the wonderful scenery we'll be going out this way. We can see how terrified you get. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> and over to my left is the river. Is this going to close? No, the door will stay open for fresh air. <laughs> no. Uh, it's got a little sunroof. <laughs> yeah. So, door's closing. Get a little sunroof for fresh air. This is where it accelerates off. <laughs> Come on, it's fine, baby. We're still going up. But look, isn't it amazing the views? We can almost. No, no uh, if we swing, this thing will go. We can almost see our apartment from up here, baby. Well, our apartment is just in the distance there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Is this going up? It's still climbing, baby. So. We can make it swing if you want. No, please don't. Not, not. I'm already terrified. <laughs> <laughs> That's the little brackets that we roll the cable over. Oh, look, look, there's the path we were walking before. Oh, yeah, there's the Neptune's path where we walked along. Oh, 
<laughs> I'm trying yeah, to. This is making noises. Yes, baby. It's made of plastic and wood. Of course, it's no, going to no, make no, noises. No, no. Tell me it's metal. And metal. And plastic. And wood. <laughs> so, this is the first time we've done this for obvious reasons. Younger. Braver. <laughs> Braver. The thing is, we've seen this working before in high winds and they really do sway, don't they? Today is very still. Hey. <laughs> it's incredibly quiet, isn't it? reach the high spot, just where the winds are. <laughs> this is fine. No, it's not. It's making noise. It's making noise. It's all the windows are open. So over to the south shore. What's the What's the building beyond the arena? This it's one here. It's international fair, but exhibition thing. Oh, it's ex exhibition space. Yeah. Okay. Do they ever do things like I don't know motor shows or trade yeah, shows in there? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Motor caravan show, the camping. Camping thing. shows. Not camping shows, but things for camping. They have another one of motorbikes. They have another. It's all sorts. Oh, well, that's cool. And if you guys into um, uh, looking to do camping in Portugal, look out for the shows that are going on in here. Oh, sorry, let me just, uh, so this building, we have something uh, similar in Portsmouth called the Spinnaker Tower, oh, yeah. looks the same, but this is bigger and apparently has a revolving restaurant on the top. A revolving, <laughs> not very nice. <laughs> like a flying saucer, it'll take off, uh, especially if you had too much uh, to drink. Oh, we can show them. The, there's a bar in here called the Peters, which is a replica from Fayal. <coughs> oh, there's a there's a whole bunch of uh, f restaurants down on this long straight building with a domed roof. I was looking on Google Maps. There's some really quite diverse restaurants, lots of Asian and Indian also. Mm -hmm. We'll go and check that out on the way back. See this, and just further north of where we're looking now, like very close by, is the airport. So it's, everything's really uh, close together in Lisbon. It's like a five euro taxi run. Yeah, five euros between the expo and the airport. Lots of good hotels down here. Yeah. Um, and this is close to the old town, but um, yeah. well, it's not far. But this is more upriver from. How is this thing going to end? Do we have to jump to the water? Yeah, we we we, <laughs> we jump we jump into the river. So it's only it's only hundred feet down. We jump when we get near where we want to get off. That's exactly what they said. <laughs> Lots of fish restaurants in there, Senor Pesh.
It's really lovely the gardens down here. I didn't realise they were so uh, extensive. But oh my god, look at that dog. I can't believe it. Maybe it slows down. <laughs> Let's see the face of worry. Stop Come on. Yeah. Let's say the gardens here are lovely, aren't they? Yeah. Really stunning. And I guess you can have your food outside on the uh, terraces by the restaurants. This is where we descend. <laughs> so, the Myriad Hotel there. It's supposed to be excellent. My sister's friend stays there every time he's in Lisbon. And here is our cable car. Our journey, uh, our journey is complete. We'll start recording in a minute. How was the cable car, baby? Ah, it was amazing. It's not so bad, no. <laughs> even for a big baby. It's a bit, it's a bit scary. But... So let's just, while we're here, because we've got a really good view. Of the Vasco Bridge. And the Myriad. So uh, we'll get out of here and we'll, um, we'll film our walk back to the shopping. So we thought we'd uh, walk back through the gardens that we've just seen the tops of. The restaurants are all over to our right here. There's other things, this looks like furniture stores and uh, other things as a steakhouse. We haven't really eaten down here at all. So I guess we could go and check out um, some restaurants. We use brasserie, that's okay. Oh, there is also mm -hmm. something called brasserie, which is a incredible dish that they make. We'll do a review of it sometime. There is lots of sushi restaurants here, so for those of you who like Asian foods, there's plenty, uh, plenty catered for. And they seem to do sushi buffets, which is uh, all you can eat for a fixed price. We did that before, didn't we? Yeah. So, a good burger. Are we going to go through the? This is the. Uh, this is the garden. Should we go through this way? It's lovely and cool under the canopy here. The smell is fantastic as well. That could be the restaurants. <laughs> <laughs> but this is, uh, we've never done this, so this is uh, new for us. So this is our impression.
war so ein Irish Handkauf. It's like some Polish or something. Angolan food. Beautiful palms. <laughs> There's where they keep the old aeroplanes. This is Irish in An Irish sports pub for those of you who want a pint of the real stuff. English, yeah, yeah, fellow Portuguese English. skinny. The best seafood in the town, sir. Best seafood in town? Of course it is. You have it from the guys here. This yeah. is uh, for YouTube, is that okay? I'm sorry? This is for YouTube, is this okay? It is all right, no problem. Okay, so if you want excellent seafood, yeah. Marisco Loser. Loser. Yeah. And these guys will sort you out. There you go, my name is Puso. Please welcome you, okay? Awesome. We'll treat we'll, you nice. We'll come check you out. That'd yeah, be great. Awesome. Thank you. Cheers, boys. Portugal has 365 ways of eating bacalhau and um, this is so you can have cod every, every day, day different. In a different way yeah so this is a restaurant just for bacalhau and if you see up up in the roof there is the bacalhau hanging Uh, we we don't think we've been here before. In here now, but no. Stubel and the city, I mean. Oh, Stubel. Yeah, we've been to Stubel. It was very brief. We should go again. Yeah. This must be good now, because the tables are full. But yeah. Yeah, it's a, a top it's a tip. <laughs> they are a bit empty. Yeah, top tip, look for a restaurant that's busy. It's busy for a reason, it's because it's good. <laughs> eat where the locals eat, that's always been my world advice. Go to where the locals eat dinner. You should know you'll get the nice stuff. Uh, I tend to avoid things like the Irish bar and the uh, the kind of, um, eh, yeah, the I chain took, things. Yeah, I took you to Villa Mora and you said, no, 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 go. You can find this anywhere. Yeah, Villa Moor is really stunning, and if you wanted a resort holiday, it's perfect. But you get these type, yeah, you get these type of towns anywhere in the UK, and you get them anywhere where there's boats. You get them anywhere in the world. They all look the same. They're all very expensive. They're very clean and very nice, but you, it's very plastic. You don't get the authenticity. The nicest food we had was on a roadside cafe on plastic chairs and they kept bringing out all the local things like uh, Karakoish, yeah. uh, which I don't mind. Uh, the um, cuttlefish with ink, yeah. oysters, oysters yeah. and that pork and potato. Oh, yeah. I forget what that's called. Clams with pork. Clams with pork. Oh my God. Incredible. Yeah, we do that. And so once you've eaten all the food, there's also a fitness, <laughs> a fitness place right next door. So, you know, just for you to burn off those guilt calories. Yeah. There's some nice, uh, nice uh, structures around this area. Been pretty modern. But the nice thing is they've kind of kicked the cars away from it, haven't they? It's uh, very much pedestrian and friendly for urban transport. You can rent these e-scooters. E 
you see them all around you can just get one you pay for the use of it they're pretty much everywhere Huh? See? Then we'll walk up to it. So there we are. It's a big mirror. So you can check yourself before you go shopping. <laughs> so we're inside Vasco. If you come over this way. I can see the water. Mm. The ceiling? The ceiling is glass. Which says spray with water. To keep this place nice and cool. So we're going to go look at a few things. What we're going to look at? I don't know. A certain young lady wants a laptop. Oh right. <laughs> so this could be an expensive day. Maybe. And uh, I need to get a few things. Maybe some sneakers. Maybe some sneakers. We go to Freeport for those. We'll do a film around Freeport because that's awesome. Oh yeah. Freeport is like a outlet village and it's the size of a village for shopping uh, if you're planning to come to Lisbon you have to go to Freeport uh, you get crazy price things yeah like big brands big brands for factory prices it's really good well this was good uh, timing we're gonna have some food in Portugalia and we're outside but it's raining luckily we're under a big canopy but you can hear and probably see. <laughs> I brought the weather with me. So prawns are brash for me. Hey. And a healthy salad for key. <laughs> Personally, I recommend this, it's awesome. Well, that'll wrap up our explore of the expo area. The Parc de Nassois. Nassois? Nassois. Nassois. And uh, We've got some other things to do. We won't film that because it's pretty boring. Um, but this will wrap this up for this explore. Um, we'll go and check out some other places uh, in the next few days. And um, yeah, look out for those coming soon. Ciao, ciao.